Hello and Namaskar. Welcome back to Aviation Avi. Go where you feel the most alive. Today we'll be talking about a subject which is not much discussed and it is nothing other than air site operations. What does this department do and what are its functions and how critical this department is to an airport. With this video we'll be discussing about the overview of air site operations and its functions. And by the end of this video, I assure you, you will understand how important air side operations department is to the functioning of an airport. So let's get started. First things first, let us understand what an aerodrome is. By definition, an aerodrome is a defined area which can be on land or on water intended to be used either wholly or in parts for the arrival, departure and surface movement of the aircraft. So by this definition, you understand that aerodrome is something like this as in the image. So the entire aerodrome can be divided into two parts that is the land side and the air side. What is air side? Before we understand what air side is, there are basically two important terms we need to identify with. Number one, what is movement area? Movement area is the area which includes the runways, the taxiways and the apron. So all three together combined forms the movement area. Number two is the maneuvering area, which includes only the runways and the taxiways. So when you remove the apron from the movement area, you get the maneuvering area. Or you can say the movement area is maneuvering area plus the apron. Now that we are clear with the basic terms of air side, we can proceed forward. What is the function of air side operations? Air side operations is the department that ensures that every takeoff and landing at an aerodrome is safe. This involves the basic functions of the air side department which are number one inspection, number two surveillance, number three enforcement, Number 4 Facilitation Number 5 Coordination During Emergencies Number 6 Airfield Maintenance and Number 7 Wildlife Hazard Management So overall these are the 7 functions of the airside department. We will be digging deep into each of these subjects as we go forward. As we discussed, the first function of the airside operations team is inspection. So let us start with movement area inspection. The airside operations team carries out ad hoc and routine inspections of the movement area. Routine inspections are the mandatory inspections that are carried out after stipulated periods of time on regular interval during a shift or during the day. And ad hoc inspections are the ones that are carried out based on requirement. So the following are the factors that are checked during every inspection. Damages in the pavement which may be notified for repair during airfield maintenance works. Contamination of surface which may be due to the weather conditions like rain, snow, dust which are reported immediately to prevent any disruption in aircraft operations. Number 3. The presence of FOD or foreign object debris which can cause havoc in aircraft operations. Number 4. The proper parking of aircraft, vehicle and equipment is ensured by the airside operations team. Number 5. The growth of grass. The length of grass at an aerodrome must not go beyond the stipulated length. If it does, it attracts birds and bird activity at an aerodrome is a big no-no. Number 6. Serviceability of visual aids like the marking, the lighting, the other visual aids like the windsock, the beacon are checked by the airside operations team. After the movement area inspection, let us zoom in a little and look at runway inspections. The runways are vulnerable to a number of factors because of which they are regularly inspected to ensure safe aircraft operations. The following are checked during runway inspections. Number 1. The runway lighting. Number 2. The runway marking. Number 3. The signboards. 
basically by checking these three we ensure that the visual aids for an aircraft to land and take off are serviceable number 4 the surface damages if any number 5 contamination which may be due to oil spill or fod or contamination due to weather conditions are also checked during runway inspection and they are reported to the atc as soon as possible so that the pilot that is coming in for the next operation is notified of the same so that the pilot can take necessary and appropriate action and last but not the least animal activity is also checked for by this team during runway inspection the next function of the airside operations team is surveillance it is the duty of airside operations department to ensure surveillance of all aircraft movement or activities on the apron and service routes they report and take appropriate action on any observed hazards or deviation from sops when observed So it is this team that ensures that every activity at the air side is carried out safely. The third function of the air side operations team is enforcement. The air side operations department is responsible for the enforcement of the CAO and DGCA regulations at the air side and the enforcement of airport's air side safety regulation. It is the responsibility of this team to interact with all the stakeholders and make sure that they comply with all the safety regulations while operating at air side fourth function of the air side operations team is facilitation so this is done using the follow me vehicles or the leader vehicles as the name suggests the follow me vehicle shows the way around the airport to the pilot of an aircraft when required These vehicles are painted in bright colorful designs to make them visible even during poor visibility. They have boards fixed on top of the vehicles to provide guidance while providing follow me service. It is also the role of air side operations team to facilitate any VIP movement and also facilitate works being carried out at air side. The fifth responsibility of the air side operations team is coordination during emergencies. This is done by the air side operation team by liaisoning on scene of the emergency and escorting vehicles to and from the accident scene. They also are responsible for completion of necessary airport inspections upon termination of the emergency. They are also responsible for restoration of the aircraft movement area and for assisting in disabled aircraft recovery. It is also the responsibility of the air side team to ensure that the declared distances are redeclared if required and also initiate notam action for the same the responsibility of the air side operations team is air field maintenance the following are the tasks performed during movement area maintenance number 1 is the air field lighting maintenance the repainting of markings and any civil works and grass cutting activities around the air field These are the activities that are carried out during the maintenance of movement area on regular basis or based on requirement. Next under airfield maintenance is the maintenance of runway friction characteristics. We know that every landing at an aerodrome requires a particular level of friction of the surface of the runway. So this is ensured by regular friction tests that are carried out on the runway using specialized devices. When the friction falls below a defined minima rubber removal is carried out from the runway. Runway sweeping is also a major part of runway maintenance. The next important function of the airside operations department is management of wildlife. The presence of wildlife which may be birds or animals on or in the vicinity of the aerodrome poses serious threat to aircraft operational safety. So it is the duty of the air side operations team to devise ways and means to cater to wildlife activity at an aerodrome. The aerodrome should be made unattractive for wildlife by adoption of habitat management strategies that are adapted for the type of wildlife being targeted at that aerodrome. This can be done by fencing of the aerodrome, removal of bushes, dead woods and fruit trees which attract wildlife. 
use of spikes over structures on which we do not want birds to set proper disposal of garbage in and around the aerodrome having a strict fod policy like ensuring that the stakeholders operating on air side do not dispose food wastes in open having a protective cover over water bodies and drains by the use of walls and nets to ensure that wildlife do not come towards these water bodies for drinking water it is very important that the grass at the aerodrome is trimmed to define height also use of repellents helps in making the aerodrome less attractive for wildlife so with this video i hope you have understood how important airside operations is in making every takeoff and landing at an aerodrome safe for more content like this do visit our website aviationavi.com do like share and subscribe because your support is our motivation thank you this is anvesha pal signing off